Hi there guys, welcome again to another lesson. So in this video, we will be talking about combinations. Minus two pi minus three six pi x plus two. So in the previous video, we talked about permutations and we said that permutation is the arrangement of objects in a set. Now, we are going to talk about combination, yung pinsa niya, which is another counting technique. So what is a combination? Combination is the selection of objects regardless of order. So for permutation, my involved na arrangement. So for combination, arrangement doesn't matter. Walang involved na arrangement. So the number of combinations of a set of n objects taken r at a time denoted by n c r is given by this formula. So that is n factorial over r factorial times the quantity n minus r factorial. So you guys don't forget this one. And don't forget how to like evaluate factorial notation. But later I'm going to show you how you can input this easily in your calculator para hindi mo na kailangan mag input input pa ng maraming kung ano ano dyan. Okay, so let's have sample problems. So in this first problem, let's read how many different comedies of five people can be formed from a pool of nine people. So dito daw, my nine people, and we are going to select five from those nine people. So the question here is, how many different selections? How many different comedies can be formed? So yes, we're going to use the combination formula. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it. So, n, yan yung given na number of objects in the whole set. Okay, so n is, okay, so we are choosing from 9 people. n is always the bigger number. So, we're going to substitute 9 in place of n. See? r, on the other hand, is the smaller number. So, ilan ba yung kukunin natin from 9? Okay, so, na-mention naman that we are going to select 5. So 9 taken 5. And so if we're going to substitute it here, ang n natin ay 9. r is 5 factorial. So 9 minus 5, quantity factorial. So I hope you are following. Now we simplify. 9 minus 5 is 4, so that will become 4 factorial. Actually, dito, input mo lang sa calculator, okay? Input natin to sa calculator. Um, so that is a fraction. Sa taas ng fraction is 9 factorial. Sa baba is 5 factorial. Remember, we're multiplying those, so don't forget your parentheses. 5 factorial times 4 factorial. And we press equals. And so the answer is 126. So there can be 126 selections. So we can like form. 126 comedies of 5 people from 9 people. That's a lot. Let's have another example. How many triangles can be drawn from 5 non-collinear points? When we say non-collinear points, these are points that are not lying on the same line. So parang ganito. Okay, so how many triangles can we draw from here? So siguro isa yan. That's one, that's two, that is another one, that is another one. Okay, so yun, di ba? Um, medyo marami, but ilan ba talaga? Okay, so actually this is a combination problem. So let's try to like input this in the combination formula. Okay, so N, C, R, N yung bilang ng points. So there are five points. And ilang points ba ang kailangan para makabuo ng triangle? We're going to... Substitute 3 in place of R. Saan ko naman kinuha yung 3 na yan? Yan yung kung ilang points ang kailangan to draw a triangle. Okay, so I hope that's clear. <laughs> so we're going to substitute 5 and 3 in the formula. So here we can like... Okay, so let's just input it in the calculator. <laughs> So that's a fraction. That's 5 factorial in the numerator. And that is 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So the final answer is 10. 
So imagine that, guys, you can draw 10 triangles from five non-collinear points. Sometimes they will be giving you like parang ganitong problems. Like how many lines can you draw from 10 non-collinear points? So lines, ilang point ba ang kailangan para makadraw ka ng line, di ba? So dalawa. So sometimes they will be asking you how many quadrilaterals can be drawn from five non-collinear points? So ilang points ba ang kailangan to draw a quadrilateral? So yun guys, I hope you know how to solve those kind of problems. Okay, so let's have another one. Okay, this one here is a little bit complicated. In how many ways can a team consisting of two boys and three girls be formed if there are six boys and ten girls who qualified to be in a team? And daming nangyayari sa problem. But actually, we can divide the problem in two parts. Wait lang, lagay ko lang yung formula. Okay, so there can be two parts. The first part is yung kung magseselect ka ng dalawang boys from six boys. So there are six boys, you are going to select two. That is the first part. And the second part is yung magseselect ka ng three girls from ten girls. So from ten girls, you are going to select three girls. Since high school, tas hanggang ng college, tas hanggang ngayon na nagtuturo na ako ng math, pansin ko lang sa mga problem, no? Like, if they are using this conjunction, and, always remember, multiplication ng involved dyan. So, we are going to multiply this. Napansin ko din kasi sa mga, like, kung nagsolve ako ng probabilities, like, kung n talaga talaga multiply. Kung or naman, plus. So, we are going to have a different example for that later on. Okay, so we have this one. Other people might, uh, you know, substitute this here in the formula. Pero, um, medyo tinataman ako. So, I'm going to use my calculator. So, there's actually a shortcut para makapag-evaluate kanyang combination or permutation uh, easily sa calculator. So, let's do it. So, paano yung pag-input niyan sa calculator? So, I'm going to press um, 6. And then... I'm going to press shift. Hahanapin ko yung NCR. So, nandito siya. Okay? Kung ipre-press ko na yan, lalabas yung C. And that is for combination. And then, I'm going to press 2. Okay. Sorry. I forgot my parentheses. Parentheses because we are multiplying. Okay? And then, the other one, I'm going to press 10. And then, shift ulit para ma-activate ko yung combination. And then I'm going to press 3 and press equals. We already have the answer. And so the final answer there is 1,800. So there are 1,800 ways in which we can have a team consisting of two boys and three girls be formed from six boys and ten girls. So always remember the conjunction and you're going to be using multiplication. If or in a mind, you will be using addition. So let's look into that in this last example. In how many ways can a university president invite two or more of eight faculty members to a party? Okay, so there are eight faculty members and we are going to be inviting two or more. So when we say two or more, so my origin, Meaning, my addition na magaganap dyan. Okay, so, when we say two or more, pwedeng dalawa, pwedeng tatlo, pwedeng apat, or pwede din naman na lahat sila e may invite sa party. So, from eight, you can invite two. Since two or more yet, like, we can invite three. We can as well invite four. Pwede din namang mag-invite tayo ng lima. And so on, hanggang sa pwede silang ma-invite lahat. Okay, so ganyan po ang solution ng ganyan. Okay, so remember if you have or, you have to like add something and you have to analyze kung ilan yung may invite okay? And so actually, pwede na natin idiretso yan sa calculator kasi marami yan eh. Are we like going to waste our time in putting these one by one on the formula? No, we don't have that much time. So, input na natin sa calculator. I'm going to show you my input. 8 
taken two plus eight taken three plus eight taken four plus eight taken five plus eight taken six plus eight oh, sorry, plus eight taken seven plus eight taken okay so there are 247 ways in which the president can invite two or more of the eight faculty members to his party okay so uh there you have it guys that's how we solve combination problems if the problem is involving a lot of parts like you don't need to substitute it on the formula you can directly input it on your calculator kaya nga ginawa yung calculator diba <laughs> i hope your teacher allows calculator so there you have it guys i hope you learned something don't forget to click the subscribe button see you guys in the next video bye bye